Thank you so much, Christina. And thank you also, Chloe, for organizing another amazing event in the Woodbury Poetry Room. Um, so Casa Grande is an art action group formed 13 years ago by Julio Carrasco, Cristobal Bianchi, and our guest, Jose Joaquin Prieto. Casa Grande was formed in the spirit of CADA, a collective art group established during the Chilean dictatorship that protested the regime through art actions in public spaces. The goal was to unite the work of art with the work of everyday life, so that living itself becomes a work of art. Casa Grande began in Santiago by creating a poetry magazine one of the issues of this magazine was dispersed through Santiago itself, as each page was posted in a subway stop, making it so that to read the whole issue, you had to travel the whole city. Their most extraordinary work began when they decided to release thousands of poems written by Chilean poets over the Plaza de la Moneda in Santiago. This is where the presidential palace is, La Moneda, that was bombed by Pinochet on September 11th, 1973. And this event began the 17-year dictatorship. Since the first bombardeo de poemas, or bombing of poems, they've bombed several cities, including Guernica, Warsaw, Berlin, and London. Their final poetic bombing will be in Nagasaki. What is most striking for me about Casa Grandes about Casa Grande is their ability to unite the random fall of poems with eager hands. These hands are just as eager to hold the poem as the hands' minds are to create a highly individualized moment of meaning. What is random meets individual significance, and this significance is completely multiple, like poetry itself. So please help me to welcome Jose Joaquin Prieto and the extraordinary work of Casa Grande. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I will read. Um, I think it's best for me and <coughs> for you. Uh, be patient. Um, first of all, I have to say I am very grateful for the invitation to be here and for the opportunity to talk about my work in Casa Grande. I would like to thank Christina Davis and Claude Garcia from Goodberry Poetry Room, and Marcela Ramo from the program at David Rockefeller Center for Latin American Studies. Finally, I also would like to thank Anna Daini for allowing me to meet these people, this interesting woman. <laughs> Uh, the purpose of this presentation is to talk about the bombing of poems, but to understand how we have worked with poetry in public space, it is necessary to understand the origins of Casa Grande. In this sense, the presentation will have four moments. First, I will refer to the editorial, editorial project around Casa Grande and the publication of a journal that changes its formats every new edition. Then I will show a video of around seven minutes. Third, I will talk about the bombing of poem project. If, um, following, I will show a video of three minutes, and I will finish talking about the, the new project. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah, I receive question and I try to, to answer. Mm -hmm. OK. Casa Grande uh, began 16 years ago when I was in the last year of my university studies. My friends in this great poetry adventure are Julio Carrasco and Cristóbal Bianchi. At that time, Casa Grande was a cultural magazine with focus on poetry. But what is really Casa Grande, or what is Casa Grande right now? Casa Grande is a Chilean art collective that has developed a series of publishing projects and art action related to poetry and intervention into public space. The year 1996, 
when we founded Casa Grande magazine, we did not suspect that after seven editions, we would launch our seven additional edition using, uh, using uh, different support. These supports were the advertising, the advertising one, the digital format, the newspaper format, a sound edition, and even what we call the parasite edition, which means the use of the other journals to publish the content of our journal. We managed to establish very soon some basic principles of work, uh, which were adapted easily for all of those who, who participate in, in each edition. Some of those principles were work with young people from our generation, highlight the journals and um, writers rather than the literal team. What symbolized this is that our names never appear. The quality of the journal was key. Uh, we tried to use high quality materials. The journal had the slogan, uh, can be sold, can't be bought. In other words, was free. And we delivered some copies to the main libraries uh, of the country. I think this library don't, don't have it. <laughs> we printed 500 copies, and the way to pay the authors was be giving them uh, 10 copies. Those who participated writing for the journals understood the spirit of the project, and also they saw it as the opportunity to promote their job, their, their work. How we financed the first seven Casa Grande journals? with parties. We organized parties for university students. On average, 2,000 young people went to each party. I think that is not possible now in Chile um, to leave money to this strategy. But in this, um, this year, it's <coughs> possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another contextual information that uh, could help to understand the evolution of our projects was when we put poetry of young poets in the subway trains of Santiago de Chile. This project has been done in New York City and London subways. In that sense, it was not innovate, but allow it to observe the reaction of people when finding a poem in place used for advertising. I saw, I, am, I, I, I saw people getting off a train and move from another underground train to read another poem. <laughs> By taking the decision to start exploring different supports or formats, every edition became a project in itself, find, finding ways to finance the idea, adaptation strategies to the new format inter alia. Now, I would like to briefly explain four of the seven numbers that we have done, done so far. Um, the printed ver version of our journals always had 52 pages, but given that the subway at the moment did not have such number of stations, we decide that each page of the journal should be in the largest advertising space, 3.3 and 1.8 meters. This is the page 20. Mm -hmm. The idea is one person who takes the subway could, during the ride, go throughout the page of the journals. We use the same editorial principles and work style on the printer version. This is the number uh, 33. The, the page number 33 was located in Bagedano Station, which is the place where every massive collective celebration takes place in my country. This page shows my work. It has printed the name of all this land that excited uh, at the time in Chile. The, the last page of the magazine talked about the new project named Chile al Cosmos. The idea was to make a journal written by Chileans and live in floating next to the other books in the library on the International Space Station. 
I don't know if you in in the in the library international space the 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 books floating. It's, it's, it's like 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 the display, but floating. It's very curious. Okay. <laughs> We, we asked to whom at that time would be the first Chilean astronaut to go to the space to take a picture to promote the project and give cr credibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is Klaus, mm -hmm. our friends. Mm -hmm. To do so, the idea that all the people write our magazine, we need to make a call to Chilean to write. For that reason, we print um, 70,000 copies of the magazine Casa Grande during a single day that will be distribu distributed and gifted in all the kiosks of the country. This is a special edition contains what's about our bombing of poem and other projects. We also use the same editorial principles and work of the first magazine. On the, last, on the last page of the journals, we include our astronauts again, but now as a caricature explain that he agreed to carry the magazine Casa Grande to space. On the right is shown the, is, is shown the first card we received. It was from a girl who lived in a rural town, Alwe. She asked <laughs> They ask the stars to appear not only at night, but also during the day. This is the idea of, the, of this letter. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Finally, our astronaut, our Chilean astronaut, this is a long story, did not have the chance to go to the space for reasons beyond his control. Thus, we decided to present the contest of the magazine in the National Museum of Fine Arts in Chile. The exhibition considered the letters of children, 5,000 letters, several citizens' message to the start, and the work of young writers, poets, and artists. Mm -hmm. The sound edition aimed to create a 52 page of 60 seconds to be listening on a Chilean radio for a month. The records were, among others, the verse song of our country, Chilean poet voice, sound poetry, and here are some examples of this page. Revista Casa Grande, número 13, página 39, Voces del Jardín de Chile, El Chincón. Revista Casa Grande, número 13, página 39, Voces del Jardín de Chile, El Chincón. The idea is driving the car and appear these sounds, uh, 52 uh, different sounds. Or another example. Revista Casa Grande, número 13, página 14. Una palabra, de la poeta Gabriela Mistral. Fragmento. Una palabra. Yo tengo una palabra en la garganta y no la suelto y no me libro de ella aunque me empuje su empellón de sangre. Si la soltase, queme el pasto vivo. Ok. This is an example for a prize novel, a Chilean prize novel. And it's strange because some of my friends never hear uh, her voice. And, and we use our magazine to, to, to show to the, um, the person who, who hear the radio in the, in, the, in the car. It's an interesting project that we use to, uh, to show poetry to a, a, mass, a massive public. Mm -hmm. um, Therefore, with this information about Casa Grande's path, I think we can move to this discussion about bombing of poems. 
Our project Bombing of Point is a performance that consists in dropping, dropping 100,000 poems printed as bookmarks from an aircraft, helicopter, or plane. This intervention has occurred six times over city that have experienced aerial bombing during mili military confrontation or intervention. Santiago de Chile, Guernica, Dubrovnik, Warsaw, Berlin, and London. The bookmarks are related at dusk and as in the case of the real bombing without previous warning. I want to show you a, a video about our performance in Berlin in two years ago.
Okay. Um, the bookmarks are released at night over a crowd and in the case of a real bombing without previous warning. The poems are written by both Chilean poets and poets from the city that was bombed. These poems are printed in two languages, Spanish and the language of the country city uh, with bomb. Um, I, some people have uh, a poem, for example. And, uh, okay. Until now, the performance has been carrying out in six different cities. First, in 2001, in the Chilean government, government palace, La Manea, bombed during the military coup on September 11, 1973. The second performance was in 2002 in the city of Dubrovnik, Croatia, shot on December 6, 1991 by Serbian force. The third was, uh, one was in 2004 in the city of Guernica, Basque country, Spain, which suffered the first Nazi air bomber on April 26, in 19... Uh, 37. And the next three cities are related to the World War II, Barsaba. Uh, we made the performance in, 19, in 2009, Berlin in 2010, and London just four, four months ago. It's time the poems have been released over a city. The crowd picked them all, all up. People who witnessed and received a flying bookmark exchanged them, turning them into items for exchange rather than waste. The first bombing of poems was realized on March 23 at the government palace of La Manea. Uh, this building was bombed in September uh, by the Chilean Air Force under Augusto Pinochet's command. It was the day that the social government was overthrown at the Chilean president. Salvador Allende, commitment suicide inside the building, the imagine of the airplanes soaring through Santiago and releasing their bombs over the governmental palace become the uh, symbol of the beginning of uh, 17 years of my military dictac dictatorship. 29 years later, during an international poetry festival in Santiago, Chile Poesia, that was taking place at the governmental palace, a helicopter bombed the same building, but instead of rocket, poems were released. The aircraft dropped 100,000 poems printed on bookmarks over of a multitude of 9,000 people. The crowd was waiting a poetry reading standing in front of the government palace. The bombing of poems was performed without prior notice. F uh, 45 different young Chilean poets composed the poems printed on the, on the bookmarks. The members of Casa Grande, my friends and I, born around 1973, years of the military coup, Therefore, the initial poetic act in La Moneda Palace was both a creative response to our personal stories and a way to become activity involved in the process of the transition to democracy. Yes. In, in this sense, nobody in the group ever doubted that as a poetic act, it was necessary and should have a positive reception and consequence. The decision to extend the bombing of poems to the international field was taken a few months after the experience in Chile. On one hand, this decision was based on both the strong reception of the performance by the citizens of Chile. This impact was confirmed by comments and mass media coverage, and also the great connotation the project had for us as a collective art group we wanted to share this experience in other place. On the other hand, the dynamics of the performance reveal many aesthetics and social aspects. For instance, 
The particular way that the bookmarks fly and cover the sky at night, the sound effects of the helicopter over the place, the reactions of the crowd with people sharing, sharing the poems, and the fact that after the performance, there were no bookmarks on the grounds because the audience had picked up all the poems. <coughs> the beauty of this visual and relation element was literally discovered afterwards. Therefore, the process of creating a project like the bombing of poems was discovered gradually. gradually. Initially, we used city that had experienced air bombing without have been military targets. After work, we realized that the category of military target was uh, arbitrary and unclear because the air bombardments were urgent acts designed to break the moral of the civil population by the indiscriminate production of destruction. The fact that we come from South America is not important. Even thought uh, our story was bounded by struggles of independence of colonies, indigenous, and poverty. We had not experienced a total war or major military conflict such as the one that we now took place in the 20th century. There are five key aspects to the production of the bombing of poems. Legal permission, the poems, and the authors, the aircraft, the audience, and the site specific, and the condition of time and weather. Public artists must deal with those who control public space. Without the permission of the authorities, the bombing of points is impossible. Given the necessary of the use of the airspace and also the possible political sensibility in the context of the story of the violence in each city. Obtain permission from the authorities is not an easy task. To illustrate this point, for example, in the case of the bombing of points in Santiago de Chile, Casagrande had to deal with five different prohibitions. On London are 12. Okay. <laughs> uh, in this poem, uh, we can see the restriction, this point is of Julio Carrasco, prohibition of flying over crowds, prohibition of flying at night, prohibition of throwing objects from the air, a strict pro prohibition of, of using the airspace of La Moneda Palace, and prohibition from the mayor of Santiago to little the city with papers. Mm -hmm. uh, this is interesting because um, the only occasion La Moneda was flown over uh, was on September 11. Um, we are the second to do to did it. To secure the necessary permissions, Casagrande had to create a strong network among political institutions and the lo local and national level, as well as diplomatic authorities, embassies, and the Ministry of For Foreign Affairs. <coughs> For the sake of the developing possible relation with local authorities, the official image of the performance had to be defined in a particular neutral way, therefore being conscious of the role of the discourse formulation of the project, an emphasis was laid on the role of the beauty over violence, and also on the pacific attitude in the art in the turn of the new century. This is our friends, the major of Guernica. Also, Casagrande developed an equivocal, ambiguous approach to the title of the performance. So, Reign of Poems became the second official name of the project for the local authorities of the city. It has been useful to reduce conflict, solve censorship, and make easy to support of the authorization of the event, particularly when the application is realized by regular post and email from a distant country like Chile. The poems. Uh, 40 Chilean authors and 40 poets from the host city in, in which the performance takes place are selected to be part in the project. All of them have to be public recognized and their work has to be published. Casagrande selects the Chilean poets and poems. 
in the target city, the poet selection in Dawn by the writers' societies of each country together with a local poet. The problem is not the, the selection point, it's the, the problem is the not selection point. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the selection criteria are not related to the demo of the poems, but to their individual quality as well as the nationality and age of the authors. Most poets are below 40 years old, usually representing part of the youngest population generation. From the perspective of the bombing of poem, poetry matters precisely because it speaks as a wall and not as an individual person or a specific topic. All texts are translated into two languages. Poems are printed in Spanish and in the language of the host city. Each poem and its translated version are printed on a bookmark. The bookmark was chosen for its practical utility and becomes a tangible gift for the audience. Okay. Bombing of Poems is situated as a cultural bridge between two countries through two new generations of poems in a global world. Um, we can't to throw poems, but we can't to make much more than that. We stayed on more, on more than one occasion. This exchange between nations is relevant in terms of the approach of the young poetry through the participation of a particular project and the translation of the poem in both languages. In the, in the end, 80 poems are selected from 80 different poets, and a total of 100,000 poets, uh, weighted in total around 500 kilos, printed. To reduce transportation costs regarding the total weight of the poems, the bookmarks are printed in the host city. Uh, only in Dubrovnik we uh, traveled with the poems and we lost. <laughs> this is uh, another long story. Okay. <laughs> Finally, the bookmarks are put into special bags so that it's easy to handle them inside the aircraft. The ideal aircraft to land the poems is a helicopter. Helicopters are fast and allow dynamic movement, mo movements. They are able to hang in the air, they can fly blackware, and they can ascend and descend easily from the same position. The way of the poem, however, means that a special helicopter is necessary. For instance, in the village of Guernica, the helicopter needed to land twice in a rugby field near the city of Restock from points because it was not possible to load all the them at the same time. Additionally, depending on the flight and security rules of uh, each country, specific models of helicopter are demand if the flight uh, is at night or if the flight is over a crowd. In the case of Chile, the helicopter had to be twin engines, which is expensive and very difficult to locate and rent. We are expert in translate and in helicopter <laughs> with this project. <laughs> okay. When a helicopter is used, the poem are launched from the main door of the aircraft, or the door of the aircraft. Not more than two people are needed for this operation. One organized the bugs the space within the aircraft and the video camera for the documentation. The other one lands the bookmarks. Both are secured with seal bed and they communicate with the pilot and people on the ground using headset or walkie-talkie. The, the poems are launched in a coordinated operation. It's usual to have one preliminary launch to the tents to test the wind condition. Every operation is done at different position over the seat. One must also avoid the point getting entrained with the pack helix of the helicopter. Finally, the aircraft is not allowed to descend below a minimum altitude of between 60 or 100 meters, depending on the rules of each city. The day of the performance is chosen in agreement with the local authority. Usually, it's the day that overlaps with a local popularity, uh, popular, popular festivity. The main reason is to have as large number of people in a specific zone of the city as possible. The choosing area is symbolic and is related to the historical place that we are bomb bombarded in the past. 
In Barcelona, the bombing of Poem was realized over, over the old town, Castle Square Tower. This area was chosen due to its symbolic meaning for the city of Barcelona. The place was rebuilt as it was before in 19 destruction at the end of the World War II. In general, the site of the bombing of Poen is composed of two kinds of urban space. First, those buildings and places which have a close or direct relation to the story of destruction of the city, example, Central Street, Cathedral, Palace, political building that were damaged during a bombardment. Second, all the space occupied by the audience during the local festival itself. Frequently, this space overlap that become the target of the poetic bombing. However, there is also a third kind of space and writing the performance. It arises from the inability to control all the elements of the performance. This is the space randomly created by the points falling over pools, roofs, and other squares and streets for away from the symbolic site. Um, in London, the poems uh, uh, in the parliament. It's, uh, it's a story uh, some parliament call what happens. Poems uh, drop in my office, and <laughs> it's, a, it's a problem for us, but it's beautiful. <laughs> When the audience discovered the presence of the aircraft and the poems in the sky, the bombing of poems reached its climax. People begin to stretch their arms to the sky and make signs or wave to the aircraft. A sort of catharsis and euphoria capture the moment. As the poems reach the street, people try to catch them while they uh, are still in the air or pick them up from the ground. The children run in the street following the aircraft and look looking for more bookmarks. Often adults and young people read the poem and exchange them. The sound and the presence of the aircraft, the poem falling everywhere and people captured by this, but by this situation produce the ultimate moment of the performance. There are three important aspects of time in relation to the performance. First, the precise moment of launching the poem in always a surprise for the audience. Second, the best hour to land the poem is a sunset. The duration of the performance is usually about half an hour. Santiago, 25 minutes. Dubrovnik, 45. Guernica, 35 minutes. Barsava, 40 minutes. Berlin, 30. And London, 2. The light is relevant for the visual effects that the bookmark create when they are falling. The delicate light of the sunset plus the night light of the city allow the poem printed on white, bright pipe paper to produce an intermittent shine while they are falling. In addition, given the rectangular shape of the bookmarks, the poems rotate as helix in the air delayed, delayed in the, their fall. This element let the poem be seen as a small flakes that circulate slowly in the air, produ producing an effect of a snowfall. And third, to assure good weather, the best season to land the poem is summer. This often corresponds with the local festivities and holidays. It is necessary to have a clear day with loud winds. Good weather reduced possible problems such as the need to cancel the flight or the imprecision falling of poem. Nevertheless, summer does not always promise stable weather. In the city of Dubrovnik, a storm with rain and thunder began five hours before the performance. The event had to be postponed for three days. Finally, all of the above elements of the performance production are oriented to compose a moving image in the vertical space between the sky and the city. This is the main instantaneous moment of the work. Then the performance decreases. It is important to highlight that projects developed by Casagrande are not defined in terms of preconceived theory or a conceptual discussion. On the contrary, the project emerges from the interaction of Casagrande members. In, develop, in developing the concept bombing of poem, it's important to recognize five important elements. 
prior Casagrande project, our biographical and political contingent, the process of internationalization, cultural bridge between two countries and poet generation, and the combination of multiple message, idea, and interpretation of this performance. The bombing of poem is open to multiple message and idea, and not all of them belong to the original concept defined by the members of Casa Grande. In some way, the performance speaks for itself. For example, there are some interpretations that say the bombing of poem was created as a part of the wider interesting in how to use public space as a platform for publishing and editorial activity, and how to explore different ways of translating poetry into action. Some person thinks that the bombing of poem catalyzes a process of change and transformation, both at the individual and collective level. For example, how the performance is able to articulate emotions related to traumatic experience, or the value of poetry founded on a kind of therapeutic power. Other things that bombing of poem allows us to pose question of possible relation between art and the story of world. What, what can a, a creative practice, to, uh, practice do in relation to traumatic events? And what role does an artwork plays in the story of world? Now we will watch a video, the last three minutes. It show our last bombing release on Jan 26 of the year. You may draw draw up your own concept of the performance. I think. Tonight I'll lead him broad-backed into your city, leave him to sleep.
the new project. Um, uh, five minutes and we, uh, you can add all that you think. Uh, finally, to close this presentation, I would like to share with you two projects we are about to develop in the short time, in the short term. Uh, term. To start in three weeks more, we are going to make a public intervention in Chile. I kindly ask you to maintain the confidentiality and not disseminate this project uh, in the next three weeks to any Chilean media. <laughs> it's, it's true. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, the name of the project is King Kong. This is my family. I visited uh, New York uh, before the, the Sunday, the, the, the hurricane. <laughs> and we visited the Paris State. Okay. I, uh, Julia, I had in my arms, and Blanca. <laughs> We are saved this dissertation, and I name my 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 daughters. <laughs> they they see in the future. <laughs> okay. Our project aimed to bring King Kong to Chile and place it in front of the government palace. Our purpose is to create an absurd situation that can be interpreted by different sectors across the country. By installing King Kong figure near one of the most important institutional symbols in Chile, we want to contribute to the discussion about the political power in a time in a Chile that has been full of riot of manifestation in the public space. I, am, I don't say nothing more about this project. <laughs> okay. The second project we would leave to the develop next year in Boston uh, is ba based in idea Casagrande wanted to develop in Chile some years ago. The idea in Santiago was to produce an urban intervention based on the apparently chaotic movement of the public buses uh, in the city. We aimed to build a massive network of messages throughout the combination of text randomly this deployed at the advertising space that each bus had. By so doing, transformation a publicity the space in a source of poetic experimentation. Mm -hmm. Multiple words in movement crossing the city would work as a large crossword. In fact, the cross of word through the reader eyes is the essence of the exercise. The reader had to find the sense of, the, of this series of the, the dynamic message, choosing on different possibilities depending on the word and, of course, their mood. The idea in Boston is to change the public transportation system for the randomness that the wind generates of the routes of the sailboats in the Charles River in front of the empty domes. It's Uh, do you need, um, uh, do you, no, do, do you, do you need ima imagine the, the words and the letters in the same, but I think it's not necessary to explain more this project. Um, I'm on time, yes? I am finished? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific, fantastic. Uh, the crowds, when they were reaching up and catching the poems, um, when you first showed it, I couldn't understand how those crowds could have been surprised and yet be so, and, and yet all be there. But you explained it because you are choosing places where people are gathering for celebrations. But did people, as the things were coming down, what kind of thing, as the poems were coming down, what kind of things were they saying? 
where they're saying, what's that? I mean, because I didn't get that from your uh, video. Perdóname. Um, <laughs> la gente, cuando descenden las bohemas, um, no tienen tanto sorpresa. No, di no, no he oído ellos uh, diciendo, uh, ¿qué viene? ¿Qué es esto? Mm. ¿Hay um, sorpresas o...? Mm -hmm. de um, in the, in, in, the, in, a, in in the case of Chile, all the people are surprised because uh, they didn't know that the performance is possible to to do, and and it's very interesting because uh, first the the the, pers uh, the people hear the the sound of the helicopter and and say, oh, the, uh, 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 the helicopter is too close. Oh, the, the helicopter is near to Palacio de la Moneda. Oh, it's dropping something. And, and the first people to, to pick up the, 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 the poem said, wow, it's poems. And, 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 and it's not uh, appear um, uh, we, 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 we can, it, it's very interesting because we, we in, for the Palacio de la Manía, we are concentrate in to, 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 to do the project and we not register the impression of the, of the people. And this is interesting because now this uh, performance is like a myth, it's a mito. It's a, because some people say, ah, oh, I'm a state in, in this moment. I think it's all the people that say me, I stay in this moment, I, I calculate uh, 20,000. <laughs> but but, it's, uh, very, uh, but uh, all, uh, in this case, the people is uh, surprised. In London, I think it's different because um, it's like a band. It's like uh, the performance like, like Cristo. When Cover the Parliament in Germany because uh, it's very interesting because a, a lot of people travel to look the the performance to other uh, city and 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 now all the people have iPhone to <laughs> or, or take pic, uh, picture in in the in the bombing of the Palacio de la Moneda. We, uh, we don't have a picture because the technology of digital technology we uh, not develop the, the flat. All the picture appears. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think that this project or the time of this project, uh, many things are, are, um, are changed. But it's different in between city. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose specifically to use the poetry of very young people? Huh. Um, I, I, um, first, uh, we, in, in all the project, we um, doing the, the principles of the magazine, um, uh, Casa Grande magazine. And, and first, the, 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 the magazine uh, is to show our, our uh, jobs. But uh, it's important the quality of the, of the, of the poetry. The, it's funny because the, the, the old, or the, the eight, is changed a little because my partner, Julio Carrasco, uh, when uh, beginning the project, um, it's, um, uh, it's, uh, the, the, the idea is poet, poet uh, over under uh, th uh, 35 years old, and now it's 42. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but this is it's a, a, a joke. The, 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 the idea is to show the, 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 the work of, of young people, and, uh, and young people, I think, is uh, doing a very good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, for your conference, for 
Uh, and congratulations for for uh, for the work of, of the Casa Grande, for the the, the symbol of the of the world. Um, I think uh, you explain about the the uh, aesthetic, uh, symbolic, and the political uh, and poetic effects of the uh, this performance. I think that uh, it's possible. Uh, <coughs> Uh, behind the, 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 this context, this performance, no? um, a need for the uh, world memory, uh, for the uh, ethical uh, commitment with the uh, moral memory of the world. No? The, the, the poems bombing the, no, is uh, only a um, performance, uh, an intellectual performance and the people performance. Is possible uh, uh, to uh, to be uh, memory of the world? I think uh, no, it is possible uh, securely no? in Hiroshima, in Stalingrado, uh, is the is the motive, uh, su motivo moral uh, para la conciencia de la memoria necesaria para el deber necesario de la memoria seguramente de la humanidad. No? Mm -hmm. In all the, uh, I I show the the point of the iceberg because uh, this this project or this time is is very density. In in all this project, the the museum of the memorial museum of each city is always. Uh, um, bring the uh, their uh, uh, support. Guernica Gratus and and Coventry in 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 England and it's, uh, in all the city that is received bombing have a museum of the memory and they they, they are connected uh, uh, between the director of this uh, center and they they I think they are very important for this kind of project to this vision, also for our vision, <laughs> for other person is different. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for your presentation. And I would like to ask you uh, a question because when we see your work, uh, Casa Grande's work, uh, you can see a lot of video art, uh, a lot of poetics uh, together. And I would like to know what, if you have any identification with a certain poetic language, poetry, I don't know. Uh, ah. we, uh, someone told uh, you were influenced by Kada. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a, a biography. Question. And um, I have uh, a good luck in my school. Uh, I, I don't know the, the, the reason, but, but all my friends uh, in, the, we, in the library of, her, of their parents have uh, French poetry. Um, and I, 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 in my, um, I, I, I think um, uh, 15 years old, in, when, uh, before the, the university, uh, I more inclined to the su surrealism and to the beat generation. <laughs> but it's it's a, 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 a nice comment, but uh, in the in the group of surrealism, I I always view uh, the the uh, uh, una, una búsqueda. Voy a uh, responder en español. Además, tú eres chileno, ¿no? sí. Bueno, okay. Eh, en los franceses surrealistas clásicos, sin sin complicar más, siempre vimos desde el inicio una búsqueda de de un descubrimiento en las en, en las en, en las ciudades donde ellos habitaban 
esa sorpresa frente a algo común. Eh, y justo para preparar esta presentación, volví a leer la primera editorial que escribí para la revista Casa Grande. Le pedí a mi hermana, tengo un número que la escaneara, y, y me la envió. Y para mi sorpresa, eh, esa revista, esa editorial hace mención a una, a una imagen que creo que la tengo, o sea, la, la tenía, de hecho, por eso me hago el link con, con tu pregunta y con el correo o sea, electrónico que me envió mi hermana con la primera editorial de Casa Grande. En esa primera editorial, que está escrito en la adolescencia, nos inspiramos en, en la película Fiscarraldo, en, el, en la instancia en que alguien se obsesiona con cruzar un barco a través de un cerro. Y, 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 en gene, y esa obsesión lo veo, o sea, no sé, lo veían los surrealistas, pero también lo vemos en el, nosotros en el momento en que nos ponemos la, eh, como esa meta. En el, en, el, en el cómo se hace, creo que por lo menos hay un, hay un placer del vértigo. Yo no, no sé aún cómo vamos a convencer a la gente de MIT para que nos preste los veleros, pero, pero sí sé que, que, que en este periodo en que se le está dando... Eh, vuelta al proyecto y se está... Todos estos proyectos los hacemos porque hay mucha gente que participa. Si no se podría... Hay, hay algo que, que no es muy racional, pero sí es racional en el sentido de tener claro un objetivo y, y después lograr cruzar el barco al otro lado del de la Amazonas. Uh -huh. Y llegar a Caruso a, a escuchar ópera allá. Excuse me, for, for my Spanish, or for my English, or no, sorry. Hello, felicidades. Um, I would like to ask a question about uh, a point that you said. Uh, you said that all the authors that, uh, that you select mm -hmm. are already published. I would like to ask why. And also about the reception of uh, the performances beyond the performances, do you see that uh, the performances incentivize the reading of poetry? What is the return that you have had from people? Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, select poem or poet is very difficult because. Uh, uh, because we went to public a young, uh, uh, a young poetry in Chile now I think a lot of young po uh, poets <laughs> and, and uh, the criteria to public something uh, is uh, is to n not um, select some poetry, o sea, some poet, it's an amateur poet. But, but it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a criterion that is uh, discutible. But um, we have to simplify the, the, the selection. And Even with this criteria, we have a lot of, 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 of poets because now it's easier to auto publicate yes and um, and the reaction after the 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 performance I, I think there are three kinds of reaction the the press the the mass media cover the this kind of performance uh, too much, I think. In the case of London, uh, we appear in, in, I think, in all the world, be be because we included uh, some uh, poets that participate in Parnassus poetry, because uh, it's, it's in the context of uh, um, Olympic Games. And all the press that stayed in this in, in London for the uh, for the Olympian Games uh, public this performance, and we have a dossier 
also it's very big <laughs> to all the the uh, to all the press in I um, appear in in China, in India, in Sri Lanka. It's very <coughs> interesting how the the press copy paste the news and translate in. <laughs> and the I think that the people who will testify the the person it's very interesting because. Uh, uh, pick up and uh, maintain the point like uh, treasure. It's a, a juice. It's very. I I bring to Boston two points for my daughters. <laughs> they and I don't know when, uh, but 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 it's very symbolic. This the the the, the, the object and and. The projects uh, uh, big, uh, bo born in the in the same time that the networking uh, net, net, network social network, mm -hmm. and and okay, it's possible to find uh, say five thousand no uh, I I don't know uh, twenty thousand person uh, stayed in the bomb in the perform, but but the people who saw the video. It's a lot of people. It's, it's very, it's very interesting. And and now uh, we we want to uh, all the people uh, read the the poem. But in the case of London, we are no no five. But uh, it's it's very complicated. To have the permission to to. Um, to put on free on the website the, the poems. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is the real world. <laughs> but but in general the 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 problem is not the poet, it's the the, the, the person to represent the poet. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it's a, it's a good decision to uh, work with young people because we it's, uh, we invited to Nicanor Parra or some uh, or some poets in Chile. It's very difficult to to give a a poem, so <laughs> and, and the, the young people understand the project. And, and hmm? it's a good question. <laughs> I have a couple of questions. Thank okay. you very much. Uh, the first one is. Um, I noticed that with the exception of Chile, this, the cities that you chose were in Europe. And I wondered um, if you consider the project finished, if you've considered doing other cities in Asia or in the Middle East, and possibly cities that have had more recent bombing. Uh, and my second question is, uh, how much does it cost and who pays for it? <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um. The um, one okay, uh, depending because um, the the second question I I ask, I answer because it's easier. <laughs> okay. okay, the um, London is very expensive. It says, uh, and and we 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 have support to South One Center. Um, if you put. All the money that they uh, bring, not not in cash. Uh, I think the project is uh, one uh, uh, one hundred thousand dollar. Each time. It's in in London, yeah. but in in Chile the projects in this moment is all the uh, uh, three. Three thousand dollars. Wow. So uh, it's a different, but but um, okay. But 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 this it's it's cheaper to uh, compare it with uh, other project with this uh, uh, exhibition. So, okay. um, yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. The 
the, the, the uh, crystal performance very expensive or on, on other kind of uh, traditional <coughs> art visual in, in space public is very expensive um, and the, the people to support our project always say that uh, our dollar investment in you is have a, a good impact because they uh, appear in all the in all the uh, newspaper yeah. but this is okay this is your reason but okay <laughs> <laughs> and and we we doing this project in all the city that received bombing uh, well, yes and and Nagasaki and Dresden and no, oh, it's a lot of city. Yeah, yes, yeah. but uh, but some, for example, in Bruselas, is uh, this city they didn't receive bombing, and we received an invitation to to do, do this project, uh, and we say no because uh, this project have some ethical uh, reason, and they, they say ah we paid all the project. <laughs> and but you say okay, but, but it's possible to do another project, not not this project. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they they want to uh, drop poems in the Europe Parliament. This is the idea. Um, in Dresden, uh, we receive a negative uh, <coughs> response to the, this project. Um, and in Nagasaki, uh, uh, we have a problem because in Japan, uh, except now uh, a law that it's not possible to drop nothing, and it's necessary to change the law to to to, to make the project. But we be patient. We be patient. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can phrase this right. Um, no se vende ni se compra. That's a very wonderful statement. Neither sold nor bought. And it says something really deeply moral. And so does the project of the Bombardea de Poemas. Now, it's really complicated when you have to change the name of that to Reign of Poems. And that German woman commented on that mm. in her, the piece. Um, and you're talking now, I mean, what you just said about uh, Russell said, oh, come and do the performance. So your project with the poems, it, it, it was such an incredible metaphor to see those that I got really choked up the first time I when you showed that, because you show first the bombing of that city. But you also have the term performance, and you talk about Christoph, and it's a crossover mm -hmm. from, a, from an, the issue of social, I don't know, understanding what this meant, memory of war, social justice, to the whole art world of buy and sell. That's really complicated. How do you deal with that? Mm. Um, es una pregunta com compleja. ¿Puedo responder en español? Is, do, do you understand? Okay, okay. 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 Oh. <coughs> mm. It's a complicated question. Sí. Is it? Sí, 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 yo, sí. Um, excuse me, because my, my English uh, is similar to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this kind of question is uh, it's very delicate. Um, but, uh, but, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. um, el, el, el proyecto cuando lo hicimos en la moneda when we did the project in la moneda eh, hubo gente que nos dijo no saben lo que estábamos haciendo there were people that said we don't 
we, they didn't know what we were doing. Uh -huh. eh, porque de alguna manera eh, nos estamos involucrando en algo eh, sensible, pero eh, de, de, de una manera que no, no están preparados para recibirla. Because we were involving ourselves in something that was very sensitive and they weren't prepared to receive it. Y, y, le, y la experiencia de las personas que estuvieron ahí fue en verdad importante. And the experiences of the people who were there were truly important. Uh -huh. Entonces, cuando aparece la idea de hacerlo en otras partes del mundo, so when the idea comes up of doing the project in other parts of the world, la pregunta que siempre nos hacíamos nosotros era qué pensaríamos nosotros que llegaran jóvenes poetas de otros países y quisieran bombardear la moneda. The question we'd always pose to ourselves is how would we feel if young people came from another country and decided to bomb in such a way la moneda. Y, y creo que hemos sido delicado en la presentación de, del proyecto, sobre todo en los inicios, cuando no habían antecedentes. And I think we've been very delicate with the presentation of our project, particularly at the onset of the project, when there weren't any precedents. Y, 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 y la manera de contestar es con el ejemplo de Guernica. And the way of responding your question is with the example of Guernica. Que cuando nosotros nos presentaron el Museo de la Memoria de Guernica a los que fueron a los que eran niños el año 37 y estuvieron en el bombardeo. When they introduced us to in the Museum of Memory in Guernica the people who had been children when the city was bombed. Eh, ellos tenían ahora 80 años, eran un hombre y tres mujeres. They're now around 80 years old, a man and three women. Y quisieron juntarse con nosotros porque nosotros le íbamos a regalar un poema. They wanted to meet with us because we were going to give them one poem. Eh, ellos han juntado la BBC, si es, todo la... National Geographic, todos le han hecho documentales por ser los sobrevivientes de un bombardeo ícono. Many people, the BBC, National Geographic, have done documentaries on them because they survived Guernica. Entonces, incluso algunos ya cobraban por... Some even charged. Por, por, por aparecer. Pero quisieron juntarse por, con nosotros eh, porque les llamaba la atención el Reigns of Poems, que era el, el título que, con que ellos habían recibido esta invitación. Era, But they wanted to meet with us because... They were interested in the what they had heard was the title of the event, which was Reign of Poems. Nosotros tenemos un documental de eso que muestra el diálogo, que es muy bonito, porque son ellos los que nos dicen por qué no hablan de bombardeo de poemas. We have an interesting documentary of our conversation with them, and they say, why aren't you calling this a bombing of poems? Y, y ellos incluso fueron al bombardeo de poemas y cuando comentamos con ellos qué les pareció un señor era divertido entonces dijo de cuál bombardeo te refieres so when they went to the bombing of poems and we asked them what did you think one of the men who was kind of funny said which bombing are you speaking of <laughs> Y, y, y ahí nos, di, nos dimos cuenta que, ¿cómo se dice? que estábamos siendo más delicados de lo que correspondía. Yo creo que tenemos que seguir siendo delicados, pero apareció otro tema más relevante. I think we need to continue being delicate, but an, another more relevant question que, emerged que en todos los países donde estamos haciendo esto hay gente 
que está a favor o en contra de alguna manera de lo que ha sucedido. That in all the countries in which we've done this, there are people that are for or against in some way what has occurred. Y lo que hemos lo tenido que buscar y hemos peleado, más que por el nombre Bombardeo de Poemas, es guardar la autonomía de la acción. And what we need to strive for, um, whether the title is Bombardeo, is that what you said? Whether the title is, I lost you for a second. ¿Qué? What we need to strive for is the, uh, the autonomy of the project. Ex exacto, porque en el caso de Polonia, había instancias importantes en que querían darle un significado político. En el caso de Polonia, querían un En el caso de Alemania también, pero no Germany, de... the same thing. Eh, y, y, y en eso creo que hemos, hemos, hemos sido estrictos. Al mismo tiempo hemos sido estrictos con la publicidad. En ese sentido, hemos sido muy estrictos y también hemos sido estrictos con la publicidad. Eh, o sea, por ejemplo, bueno, esto lo pueden cortar, en la... <risa> pero hay, hay, for example, hay, and you hay can cut this. no sé, Coca-Cola financió la reconstrucción de Dubrovnik. For example, Coca-Cola financed the reconstruction of Dubrovnik. Y nosotros no aceptamos publicidad en este, en, en este tipo de, de proyectos, por lo tanto, la ética de los proyectos hace que sea más fácil cumplir el no se vende ni se compra. And um, we didn't participate in such a publicity at the same time. ¿Puedes decir lo último? Sí. Que Th this makes it easier for our project to continue to be called. Uh, it can neither be bought nor sold. Exactly. Sí, sí. Yes. And it's, it's, it's easier to, to ask, uh, uh, make the no se vende ni se compra. Because... Uh, Nuestro, nuestros proyectos exigen eh, no tener publicidad. Our projects en, demand for us not to have publicity. Claro. Entonces, y, eso, y, y esa publicidad no es solamente eh, con respecto... Pues nosotros no tenemos problemas que nos apoyen, pero damos otra instancia para el documental, los afiches, pero en, el, en el, los marcadores no, no, no aparecen. We have other opportunities to be... Um, supported. Mm -hmm. um, but in the instances, uh, for example, of the posters and the um, bookmarks, okay. we do not include this type of support. Y, y en ese sentido, creo que ha sido importante los principios fundacionales de la revista Casa Grande porque al final se ha aplicado a, a, a estos proyectos más complejos. This is why the original founding principles of Casa Grande are very important because they've then been transferred to these projects. Y si se fijan en, en el afiche de Londres, ya aparece Bombing of Poems. And if eh, you notice in the posters of London, you can see Bombing of Poems. Hay una evolución. There has been an evolution. Gracias, Ana. Gracias a ti. <laughs>